like a boss. All right, ladies, this is Alex from My Foot Trash, and today, oh, sorry, this, this is not an earthquake. And today, we're gonna be talking about three traits that men want in a woman, but they just want to admit to it. All right, and the reason why I say they want to admit to it is because it's not socially politically correct um, to be wanting a woman like this. All right, but I'll be honest with you, behind closed doors, this is what guys praise women about. You know, what guys want is not what women want. And what women want, surprise men. And what men want, surprise women. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm about to say, it doesn't sound nice. It is not, um, some of you guys cannot meet those standards. And that's why some of you guys are going to get mad at that. But hey, man, I found out that women like guys are 6'4", 6'3", 6'2". I'm fucking 5'10". 5'9". But 5'10 with shoes. You see what I'm saying? So what am I going to do, get mad? Like, like, I know women like guys who are taller. Right, but I accept it. So you motherfuckers accept this shit too. Okay, take it too. All right, you guys are not the exception. All right. So, and again, this is just human nature. Human nature is not pretty. Human nature also led to genocide. Human nature also led to bestiality, to fucking other Neanderthals. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, don't put nothing outside of the range of possibility with people, yourself as well. So the first one is this: is uh, feminine, being feminine. You know, look. I made a mistake when I was younger, when I used to make these videos. And that's how I taught you guys too much savage shit. I taught you guys to be too much like savages. It's not good. It's going to turn you ladies into wildebeest. You don't want that. You want to be feminine. You want to learn how to have control without putting, with, without putting your hand in it. You know? Like, nobody likes a masculine ass bitch. Nobody wants that shit. Nobody wants... A, a woman who wants to control you as a man. Because if you let the woman control you, she's going to get turned off. It's like a pig. You put a pig in a fucking... In, 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 put him in an environment where it's not supposed to be a pig. It's gonna it's, it's not going to look like a pig. It's going to look like a little piglet. You know? And then put... You know what I'm saying? How pigs look different when they're in a farm as opposed to in the wild. A woman feels different. Feels better when she's feminine than being masculine. And this is the truth, ladies. Masculine women will end up alone. I'm just letting you know that. They will end up alone. They, they, they will end up alone. The feminine ones are the ones that have a higher chance of, of dying with somebody next to them. But if you're masculine, I am telling you, you will end up alone. Most likely, you will end up alone. Unless you get lucky and you get yourself a nice little man who will do everything for you and was there for you at the end of your life, which is possible. But genuinely... No, you know, you, you ladies have to learn how to be more feminine. It, it, I know it's easier said than done, and I know it sounds crazy, but just watch the videos on femininity, and, and, I'll, and I explain to it a little bit further. But that's the first one, femininity. No dude likes a masculine-ass woman. Nobody likes that. The next one is sexual. It is what it is, right? It's not politically correct, but a guy likes a woman who's sexual. Look, let me tell you something, and this is why I say some of you ladies are not sexual. Just even in your genetics, like some of you ladies in your genetics don't enjoy sex as much as most women do. You know, some of you ladies, it's just how it is. Some women are more sexual than others. Some women are in the middle. These women, the women who are sexual, but also healthy in the mind, healthy in the mind, like your sexuality comes out of a desire, not out of a need to be a slut or out of a need to suppress pain. That kind of sexuality is, 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 is something that you don't find in every woman. You know, like, 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 it, 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 let me be straightforward with you. For example, it's kind of like the woman who enjoys pleasing her man, right? And I bet a lot of you ladies are like, oh, mm, of course you would say that. You see? You see? That's what I'm talking about. You see? that That's exactly what I'm talking about. You, you who say that. Because the women who I'm talking about are the ones that say, yeah, I love pleasing my man. But if you're the woman that says, oh, of course you want to be... I don't want you. Don't, don't don't even talk to me. Don't don't even go 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 talk to Molly Rosenfeld about that. Okay, because that's exactly the attitude. You, you resent the fact. You resent your own nature. You gotta be proud of what of of, of your nature. Like 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 if I was a woman. No, what am I second dick? No, mm -mm, absolutely not. Right, but what I'm saying is that like. It's 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 kind of like women 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 see it as a bad thing that that they're the ones that please the guy quote unquote to please the guy right even though not all relationships are like that but what I'm saying is that 
it's, it's kind of like a guy likes a woman who likes to give without getting a return. And I know it sounds crazy, but the video is what guys like, but when it made to it, right? Look, don't, don't, I don't give a fuck what your guy tells you, baby. This is what guys think. This is, this is the type of shit that guys think. Guys want a woman who's feminine. And guys want a woman who's sexual. And I'm telling you, some guys have that. And I'm telling you, those guys are happier than when than, than the guys that are with masculine women who are not sexual. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, look, I get it. Semi ladies are, are, are in a different age, are a different point in your life, and that's not possible. But femininity is possible. I don't fucking know, to be honest with you. I don't fucking know, okay? There's some things that I just don't know, all right? I understand that some have my own limits. But what I know is that femininity and, and, and sexuality and a woman who likes sex, who likes to please, oh, Lord, am I going to have a tough time to let her go? And that's the thing is that some of you ladies are mad when I say that because it's just not you. This is not who you are. It's just not who you are. You don't enjoy it. And it is what it is. But I'm telling you, lay in the bed that you make because it comes with consequences. It's just how it is, man. It comes with consequences. Keep your man's balls empty. And I'm telling you, he's not going to have a lot of a lot of time to cheat. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. There's some things that I just don't know. The last that the last one is she gives him space. That's the last one. The most, the next trait is that a man wanted a woman is, but one of the two is that she gives him space. She can sense when that guy wants space. Ladies and gentlemen, I to this day I have not actually no, maybe I to this day I have not met a lot of women who could sense what I when I need space. Ladies, you gotta learn how to sense that. Or better yet, not even sense it, but just put it in put it in your character as a as a as a um a just in case. In other words, give people space just in case. Give people more space than necessary, just in case. You know? Especially when you like the person. Because a woman could be feminine, a woman could be sexual, but for the love of God, if she doesn't give me space, I'm gonna get tired of that shit. It's just what it is. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. Out of all the three, this one is the most important one. Maybe. Because, God, if a woman doesn't know how to give me space, I don't care how long you suck my dick for. I don't care how long you gargle. You gargle my my balls in your mouth. I'm going to get tired of that shit. My dick is going to get tired of that shit. See what I'm saying? So you got to give a guy space. Learn to give the guy space. Don't let your anxieties dictate how much space you're going to give them. See what I'm saying? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex from Mind for Attraction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle, he's a, he's a bad uncle, get him. Shut up, Melissa, you should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So, for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your, your, fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal-oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man. <laughs> you know, it, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. 
and how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.